All right, I promised you tacos. Delicious tacos, halibut tacos, and a taco that, uh, it's a spa taco. I don't know what that is. Will Dabney, our wonderful chef from Prescott Station Grill and Bar, nice to have you with us. So nice to be here. Always look forward to it. I'd love to eat there anyway. You make the most delicious and creative things. So you, you're doing tacos for us today. Yes, we're doing okay. tacos. So uh, we are now starting our summer hours. So we have uh, oh. our lunch, lunch time is starting back up and one of the, the things that we want to roll out in the summer is these uh, uniquely designed tacos. Um, also uh, with some other various amazing uh, lunch items. So we have been, uh, every summer we get this, uh, we have a fisherman up in Alaska that catches us some fresh halibut. And it's so fresh, it's literally caught off the boat and it immediately uh, flown to us. Oh my goodness. And so I get to and look at this. We <laughs> actually have an example of this halibut here, right? Yep. Look at this guy. Whoa. That is, you know, and I, we were just saying, I've been deep sea fishing and it's sometimes, it's hard to get a halibut big enough to, uh, to keep. Yeah. You know, and we get, they range anywhere between 25 to 50 pound per fish. And you said your aunt or something caught a who yeah. was a 300 pounder? Yep, my aunt uh, did catch oh one God. up in Alaska. Okay, so it's possible. <laughs> yeah. Now, halibut is a, um, a, a denser white meat, kind of? It's actually, um, it's a it's kind of a very delicate fish. Because um, I, I do all the meat fabrication in the restaurant, and when you're trying to cut it, it can it can tear, it can it can be oh. damaged. Because so you flay these when mm. they show up. Yep, I cut them all oh. up. And one of the things that we really is trying to use 100% of product. So um, all the si all the pieces that I can't use uh -huh. um, for that aren't the adequate uh, weight, yeah. I will use for the fish tacos. And then also all the bones and skin I will use for uh, a fish fumet for a marisco spa. Oh my gosh, so you're so creative. All right, now this is absolutely beautiful. Where do you start with a taco? So I like to start, um, it's designing your shell. So one of the things that we have is we have corn tortillas, flour tortillas. You can also do um, our spa mix that we have talked about is a, uh, you can choose either a jicama shell, which is a thinly sliced jicama. Wow. Or a butter lettuce. And because a taco is basically the vessel, you know, oh, and you can sure. put whatever you need to be that creative. That is brilliant because you have uh, no carbs, less calories. Yep. <laughs> So that's your healthy spa. See, I was wondering, what is a spa taco? Now I know. So one of the two tacos that I'm, I've been playing around with for specials is um, we have a halibut taco. Okay. Um, it is made. I, I made a kimchi puree. So Ooh, it's and that's kind of a spicy cabbage type. Yep, a nice okay. little spice to it. Um, this is a uh, red pepper aioli. So uh, roasted red peppers get some nice little uh, kind of a smoky sweet flavor to it. Um, also, I have some pickled red cabbage, so you get some color this out of there. It's got some real specialty taste in this. Oh, well. yes. So you get some vinegar, you get sweet, you get salty, wow. um, and then some green onions. This For beauty. Look how beauty that <laughs> it is. It is just gorgeous. out of this world. The flavors are incredible. Um, and the other one that I have, this is a curried tempura. Um, so it's some yellow curry powder, uh, some tempura batter, and it's an avocado. So you This can is amazing. I was watching you deep fry these, and there's a real trick to, to getting an avocado deep fried. You have to fried. hold it in there so it doesn't, the batter doesn't fall <laughs> right. off of it. Oh. And so what I do is uh, some curried um, tempura, and then this is like a, um, uh, a tzatziki almost like a, a Greek yogurt, some uh, cucumber, and some lime juice, just really simple. Oh, that looks salt. like I could eat it straight. Well. And this is one of my, another one of my favorites. So if you're a vegetarian, this is a great option. And this is some fresh cilantro, and then we're just gonna squeeze a little bit of lime juice over the top. These look so healthy and delicious and appetizing. They're so colorful and gorgeous. And if you don't want the corn tortilla or a flour tortilla, that's mm -hmm. why it's so great for the butter lettuce, so you can really be healthy. We have uh, you know, fresh ahi that we uh, lightly sear, and you get an ahi spa taco. Um, and so we get to 
I've been trying to create a whole new uh, line of tacos. I opened a restaurant up in Colorado. I was going to say, you have special experience <laughs> with tacos. Yes. And I, we just did tacos. And it was, we had nine tacos that we would run, and it was just every... Every day the menu would be different. Oh my gosh. And you had some real uh, favorites that came out of that, I'm sure. Uh, yep. Was this kind of like the spa taco? Is, <laughs> yeah. The um, mm -hmm. in using because um, in Boulder it's it's very a lot of vegetarians, a lot of vegans. So we really had to adapt to the area, and so we want to uh, show that you know in some of the, things, the unique flavors that we do, we have a. Um, with chicken tinga. Um, the chicken tinga is a, uh, you basically, it's, it's Coca-Cola syrup. Coca-Cola so syrup. Yep. Okay. And so it breaks down the chicken. What do you do? You marinate the chicken in this Coca-Cola syrup. Yep. And the, marinate the chicken, a uh, little bit of Coca-Cola syrup. We got some peppers, chipotles, uh, tomatoes, and onions. And we let that chicken just rest in there. And it breaks it down. And so it's super, super tender. And Unbelievable! It's this is, what do you think of these things? <laughs> this just makes it so amazing to me, Will, because you do. The flavors that you have at Prescott Station, I don't care what I have ordered there, it's always unusual and delicious. I yeah. mean, you have a sense for the flavors it takes to make something work. Yeah, creating the flavors and controlling the flavors is a really big deal. Yeah. Because you can really change someone's uh, Mind, they can. They're uh, when they come and visit. They, you know, they want to, they want to have good food, and so I try to make the best experiences I can with the flavors that we have. So that's. Do why you get we, to taste all these when when you're making them up? Yeah. You go, let's see. I think this would be good. This and then some works and some don't. Yep. Doesn't. <laughs> some some don't work out so well. <laughs> but these are these are the winners. Uh, again, now this is is your halibut with mm -hmm. a real kind of real spicy the aioli and. Yep. So the sweetness of the aioli, the uh, the kimchi is a little bit of uh, spice, but some um, bitterness too from because it's like a uh, fermented cabbage, and with some. Um, uh, peppers and spices and things like that. With the kimchi sauce, now that just amazes me because I can't, I've never seen it done that way. Yeah, normally it's like, it's shredded. Like yes, cabbage. that cabbage, so, right. Um, and then the old traditional style, well, they would put it in clay pots and they would bury it for, you know, couple weeks until it would ferment, even months at a time. Amazing. And so we, um, I make like a, I call it a quick chi, uh -huh. and it's basically a, a Okay, that's a, tongue twisting. <laughs> it's a, it's a, a, a quick kimchi um, by using uh, boiling, uh, you know, I boil the, right. the vinegars and I... So you make your own kimchi. Yeah. I tell you, you've got a lot of things going on here and it's so beautiful. Lunch is back now, yep. is it at lunch now at Prescott Station? Yep. So Monday through cool. Friday, or okay. sorry, Monday through Saturday, awesome. uh, 10 to 3. Okay. And then also we have dinners. Sunday brunch and uh, dinners and... Plenty of opportunity to get on over there. Great. Okay, so this is on Gurley Street and Marina. Yep. Delicious places and go online. Well, information on the screen, thank you. These are delicious. Have a and uh, yummy, ooh, halibut. Oh, Thank yes. you, Will Dabney. Yeah.